Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts, and today we're going to look at creating an email account that is tied directly to the domain name of your business so that you can use your email to continue to brand your business and get your domain name out there in front of a lot more people. It projects a much more professional image to do it this way instead of to use an email uh, account like Deb at Gmail or AOL or MSN or even something that's tied to your internet provider at home or at your place of business. So you would set this up from within your web hosting account for your business domain and then if you want to you can forward email from that account to a more generic email that you might be pulling onto your desktop or your laptop uh, or you can also check it from webmail. So let's go look and see how you might set up your own personal domain specific email account. So what you're going to need is we're going to log in to your web hosting where you have your domain name. And so for us, we were going to go into HostGator, which is where we have our domains hosted. All right, I have logged into my HostGator control panel or C panel. And what I want to do is to have you log into your web hosting account and look for something that um, says mail. Now yours might look a little bit different from this and actually HostGator might look a little different from this when you watch this too because from time to time they do um, change their interface. What I want you to do is find something that looks like mail and go to your email accounts login. So just click on that. and you will be taken to a login for your main domain name. So if you created, uh, used a different domain name when you registered for your initial HostGator account or web hosting account, it's going to automatically come up here. But it will also have in this drop down box, it will show you all of the different domain names that you have registered and are hosting on this particular account, whether they're add-on domains or subdomains. And if you don't know what that means, that's okay. Uh, what I want you to do though is to use that drop-down box and select the domain name that you want to use to create um, an email account for. So I selected Shortcut Site as the domain name that I want to create a business email for. And you would, of course, from the drop-down box, if you have more than one domain name, choose the one you want. And then you would enter uh, something that you want, whether it was your name or info, customer service, questions, whatever you want. Now, what you've got here is your email would be deb at shortcutsite.com, the way I've created it. And this would be something that you would use then to put out for your business. Now, you would create your password and you can enter it again and if those the red box goes away and you get two green check marks that means you typed it the same way twice and then this tells you how strong is your password now I didn't create a very uh, difficult password remember and it wasn't a very good one you can also click on generate password and HostGator will create a password for you that is a little more uh, secure but since I'm going to just delete this email that I'm creating as soon as I've created this video, I'm not going to worry about that. So that's what you would do. Name to your email and now you just click create. And after you click create, you should get a message like this. It says account created and it will tell you that you have created your debitshortcutsite.com. Uh, and how much email you've got left. Now the next question they ask you is do you want to configure the account to work with your email client? And what that means is that if you have an email client like Outlook or Thunderbird or Eudora or any other email account program that you have resident on your computer so that you pull your email off of the internet and have it live on your computer, this if you say yes it's going to give you the information that you need in order to configure that so that your email client can go out and get this email. But I'm going to forward it instead. I'm going to show you how to set up a forwarder so that you could forward the email from your business account to another email account that you're already using on a more regular basis. 
this is a great way to um, have a business email account that doesn't take up a ton of space on your computer when you're growing your business but then as soon as your business gets large enough and you're getting significant enough numbers of emails you're probably going to want to create on your email client on your computer a separate account so you can bring that in and see right away when you get email from your business um, or people are emailing you at your business email account so right now I'm just going to click no and then I'll show you how to go in back into your HostGator um, home into your main account and set up a forwarder for this new email account okay so here we are back at our main page of HostGator and we're going to set up the forwarding for our email so what I want you to do is scroll down and find mail again and then somewhere in there should be something like this that says forwarders and I want you to click on that and um, then we'll show you how to set that up you will be brought to a page like this that says forwarders email account forwarders and it allows you to send a copy as you can read of all mail sent to this email address to another email address so this is how you would set up a place to set to forward your new business building email for your domain name to a more typical email account that you might use and check on a more regular basis so what you would do is scroll on down to the bottom of this page there won't be anything here if you don't have any forwarders already set up but as you can see I tend to use forwarders quite a little bit so when you have scrolled down or you might just see this right away if you don't have any forwarders you will see something that says add forwarders and so that you will just go ahead and click that and it will bring us to a page where we can create a new email forwarder you after you click that you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this it will say add a new forwarder and it will let you this will be blank the address to forward because that's the part you're going to put in so you can tell it what address to forward and then you would use the drop down box to select the um, the end of the email that you want and then in this box you would put in the email address that you want to forward your email to and this would be an email uh, that you would check on a regular basis that you want all of the email that would come in now to your newly created email address in my case deb at shortcutsite.com will be forwarded to whatever email I enter into this box after you do that you would just scroll down and click add forwarder so let me just go ahead and do that and show you what the screen should look like when you've done it successfully okay now you should get a screen that looks like this and it says all email sent to Deb at shortcut site will now be copied to the email address that you entered in on that last screen and it's just that easy to create a forwarder so that you can send all the email that comes to your newly created business email address to an email address that you're going to be accessing on a regular basis you don't want to miss any of those important business related emails so it's just that easy to create a specific business email that's tied to your new domain name and then forward it to another domain name that you check or another email address that you check regularly so go out now and create your own business related email